Hi, my name is Katie, and welcome to my channel. Um, today's going to be a story time about my first sexual experience. Um, a disclaimer that I do not encourage anyone to do anything that they are not ready for, and to never be peer pressured into doing anything they're not ready for. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. So today I am going to talk about my first experience. Um, the first time I ever had sex, I was I was 14 years old. That is extremely young. Um, don't do what I did. Uh, do it when you're ready. Um, so like I said, I was 14 years old. I actually had never done anything ever with anybody before this. Um, the boy that I did it with, he was 17 years old. He was my next door neighbor. Um, he was actually a virgin at the time too. Um, so at the age of 14, I started doing a lot of things, um, that, I mean, I rebelled a lot. I was very re rebellious. I did a lot of things. Um, skipping school was one of them. So I skipped school one day and this boy came over to my friend, um, I was at my friend's house, um. Her, her grandpa was at work, so we skipped school together. We were at her house. Um, he went to school, so he didn't get home till about 3.30ish. That's when the school bus dropped him off. So he came over to my friend's house, and we ended up having sex. Now, the previous day, the day before, um, he came over, and we ended up, we were doing other things. Um, nothing like, no sexual intercourse, but we were doing sexual things. Um, he asked me if I wanted to do anything that day. I said no, because it was just a lot to take in for me. Like, I had, this was a lot of firsts for me, so I said no, that maybe another time he asked me if I wanted to do it the next day, and I said yes. Um, so he came over the next day, and we had sex. Um, it wasn't good for me. It was my very first time. It hurt, uh, but only for a couple seconds. It didn't last very long. Um, he, it was less than five minutes. Uh, uh, I didn't know at the time because he had told me before that he had had sex with one other girl that I didn't know her. She was from a different town. So I thought that he was experienced and I thought that I, it was something wrong with me because I didn't enjoy it. Um, I didn't really, I mean, other than it hurting, I really didn't like, it was nothing beneficial to me, so I thought I was doing something wrong, or that I just wasn't any good at it, he, um, he enjoyed it because obviously he did what he did, um, um, now, please, please, please don't do what I did, um, we did not use protection. We did not use a condom. Um, now, I encourage anybody and everybody to use a condom. Um, for any kind of sexual experience, unless you've been with together with that person for a long period of time, um, and you know that there's no um, STDs, um, and you're not going to end up pregnant. Um, unless, you know, you're married and trying to have a kid or whatever the situation is. But I encourage anybody and everybody to use a condom. Um, I went home. I didn't feel any different, any different afterwards. I did not feel good. I did not feel bad. I did not feel sore. I, I didn't feel any, any different. It was just as if nothing had happened. So I went home. Like I said, I didn't use protection. And from, from the time I got home to... I started actually my next period. I was worried the whole time that I was going to get pregnant. I thought I was going to have to go to my mom and be like, Mom, I am pregnant. And, or Mom, I think I'm pregnant. Um, my mom actually ended up having a kid and when she was 13 years old. Um, so, I did not want to have to go to her when I was 14 years old and tell her because I did not want to get my butt kicked. And also... She, she actually thought I had never done any, like, she, she, I know for a fact that even when, um, even before she 
she passed away, she thought I was still innocent. And I was 17 when she passed away. So at the age of 14, she must have thought that I was, like, super innocent. So, um, yeah. So I didn't want to have to tell her. And I was really embarrassed. And I felt like I did something bad because I knew I wasn't supposed to be doing that. Now, I'm not talking about sex. It's bad that I'm at the age of 14. And you're not, you're, you're going behind your parents back and doing this now that's bad so I felt really like I needed to keep a secret I felt ashamed that I had done that um so uh, and I'm sorry you guys if you guys are disgusted by my broke out face but um I just got out of the shower so bare face hair's not done you're seeing all of me but anyways um me and this boy decided that we were going to keep what we did a secret. Um, so only three people knew, my friend, him, and me. Um, we didn't want anybody to know, but somehow the people at school, now I was a freshman in high school and he was a senior in high school. Uh, I guess people were telling him things or he was hearing things. I didn't hear anything, but he actually one day was like, hey, on the bus he's like, hey, don't go inside your house. Can you meet me outside your house? I need to talk to you. So I got off the bus and I waited for him. And he, when he got off the bus, he came walking over to my house. And we talked and he's like, hey, are you, have you heard anything? Did you say anything to anyone? And I was like, no, I did not tell anybody. I did not want anybody telling. Obviously, he didn't say anything because why would he be asking me if I said anything, if he had said anything? So... Um, yeah, I said no, so at, the, at that point on, you know, we knew that, sorry, um, we knew that it had to have been my friend, um, I didn't get mad at my friend at that, at that age, I was very self-conscious, I had low self-esteem, she was my best friend, she was really my only friend at that age, I was not a very open person, I didn't really hang out with a lot of people, I did not want a lot of people in my life knowing things about me, and I told her everything about myself, she knew everything about me, so, at that time, I wasn't mad at her, yeah, I said that she shouldn't have said anything, but, I, I just, to me, at that age, at that age, to me, she was still my, my friend, she knew so much about me, I didn't want to, like, not have her in my life, because I felt like, you know, we were so close, so, I knew we couldn't say anything to her, if we were to ever decide to do anything ever again, um, we still hung out, he ended up asking me out, we dated for a couple weeks, um, he ended up liking another girl, so he ended up breaking up with me, um, after my whole experience with him and him breaking up with me, I kind of, I, I realized in myself that I didn't, like, like him like that, I liked him more as a friend, because we were a friend for a while before that ever happened, and he was a pretty good, you know, close guy friend that I had. He was really the only guy friend that I had. So, we decided we'd be better as friends. Um, I am happy. I'm happy that my experience was as good as it was because it could have been so much worse. Um, I definitely would have waited a couple years before, if like, knowing now what I know. I would have waited a couple years. 14 is really young. Um, but as far as the, the sexual partner that I had for my first time, he was he was a good person. Um, he would have been there for me if anything would have happened. Um, I don't encourage anybody to have sex at that age, I definitely don't think you should have sex at all unless you're a thousand percent ready, um, don't feel like you have to have sex with anyone just to fit in, or don't think you have to have sex with a boy just because, just so they will like you, because that it, that is not the case, if they don't like you for you, then they're not gonna like you afterwards either, um, please use protection, get on birth control, um, if you're really young, like me, find someone that you can talk to that's an adult. Um, it doesn't have to be your parents, but it needs to be somebody, whether it be 
an aunt or a cousin or grandma, mom, whoever, dad, it don't matter who. Just talk to someone that you feel comfortable with that is an adult so they can help you make, you know, help you talk it out and make sure you are ready. Um, and even just if you want to, if you feel like you've been together with this boy and you're ready to start having sex with him, um, talk to them and they could take you to the health clinic and get you on birth control because you do, I mean, having the baby really young is a lot of work and, um, I definitely think you should wait. Um, now, if you are a virgin, that's fine too. You do not have to have sex. If you never want to have sex in your life, that's okay. If you are 25 and still a virgin, that's okay. Um, but if you do decide to have sex when you're 14, 16, whatever age, um, use protection. Um, you can go to the health clinic and get condoms for free. You do not have to go into a store and buy them. It's very easy to get condoms, um, but please use condoms. There's a lot of STDs out there. Um, do it with someone you feel comfortable with because accidents do happen and you do want somebody that's going to be there for you if something does happen. It doesn't always happen, and I'm not trying to scare anyone into thinking that something will happen, but just in case, be with someone that you know, that you feel comfortable with, that will step up and help you in any situation that is a possibility of, hap of happening. So, um, thank you for watching this video. I hope that I just wanted to make this video to share my experience, um, I know that nowadays sex is, um, it's not as taboo as it once was. Um, more people are doing it, younger people are doing it. It's not becoming like, oh, wait till marriage. It's, it's, it's out there. So I just wanted to make this video to share my experience with anybody who's thinking about having sex or who might be, be being pressured into having sex sex um don't do it unless you're ready you can always say no if a guy is saying that he needs to fill your love through sex that is not true um that the only way you can show that you care for him is through sex that's not true um if he cared for you he would wait until you're ready so yeah thank you for watching um I hope that my story helps someone. Uh, leave a comment. Um, tell me about your first sexual experience if you want. You don't have to. But uh, thank you for watching and bye.